Hello from the start line of Stage 10 of the 2014 Tour of Qinghai Lake here in Tian Shui. Today was the final climbing day with three flat stages remaining of the 13 days of racing. This would be the final opportunity for GC riders to gain major time as we caught up with Thomas Vabazo sitting second place overall. We need to go in the breakaway with uh, one other rider to my team. But uh, I think Astana will control and it's very, very difficult to, to keep the jersey. The race was marked first by a green jersey sprint in the first quarter of the race before the riders hit the first of two categorized climbs. It would start with a Category 2 Summit before riders hit another green jersey sprint on the way down before the Category 3 climb coming just before the finish line. The course took a left along the river into the flat finish in Ping Liang, meaning that a breakaway would need major time coming off of the climb in order to stay away to the finish. Ilya Davinyak looked more comfortable than ever in his yellow jersey, settling into the role as GC leader for the Astana Continental team. Gader Mizbani from TPT Cycling had his work cut out for him with two KOMs available today in the polka dot jersey competition. As the race got underway and the riders left town, it was first marked by a group of 15 riders escaping as they would stay away all the way to the sprint. As the Chinese-based Hangzhang cycling team initiated the breakaway, they found themselves with two riders in the 15-man move, which would help them in the first green jersey sprint, where Guang Tao Ma takes maximum points over yesterday's winner Ahmed Orkin of the Torku cycling team. Tulkanji Tukuldor of the Ningxia sports lottery team found some points in third. The group worked well together as one rider dropped, leaving 14 off the front as they gained their largest gap of the day, holding a 5 minute and 10 second lead 77 kilometers into the stage. Coming on to the first KOM of the day, yesterday's stage winner Ahmed Orkin clearly carried his form over to today's race, winning the KOM over Mayan Wong, the other Hangsheng cycling rider who found himself in the breakaway. As the riders fed food and water from the team cars behind the breakaway, the heat and altitude continued to claim riders, with two more dropping back, taking the break down to 12 riders ahead of the second sprint. Ahmed Orkin was on fire today, riding at the front of the breakaway and then taking the second green jersey sprint against Jung Tao Ma of the Hengsheng cycling team. The green jersey sprint wasn't enough as Orkin would continue to ride at the front of the breakaway looking very powerful, confident from yesterday's victory. As things continued to get more difficult in the breakaway, seven riders went back to the field with one rider bridging as Simone Stortori of the Amore and Vita team found third place in the KOM sprint, bridging the gap with Dennis Kostyuk of the Cole Cycling team taking maximum points. With all of the intermediate points out of the way, the focus then shifted to the finish as Astana went to the front to try to close down the serious gap that the six remaining breakaway riders had established. The Astana team would slowly chip away at that lead to make the catch inside the final kilometer, setting up a field sprint where their team leader, Ilya Davignac, takes a stage win, adding to his already impressive ride here at the Tour of Qinghai Lake. Vini Fantini would find the podium in second with Greg Apolle as Michaelo Kononenko takes third for the second day in a row. Uh, I win this stage today and uh, it's my uh, first uh, dreams. Uh, first my, uh, uh, it's my second dreams for winner stage. My first dreams uh, for winner it's tour. And uh, today uh, I, I win the stage and uh, I'm very happy what it's possible. Achieving his dreams here on stage 10, Davignac was beside himself on the podium, thrilled to be standing on the top step for a stage win. That would keep him in the blue jersey as the top Asian rider in the general classification here at the Tour of Qinghai Lake. 
Despite gaining no points today in the KOM competition, Goddard Miss Bonnie remains in the polka dot jersey with a big enough lead headed into stage 10 to defend that competition. Mikhailo Kononenko of the Cole Cycling Team would stay in green after taking it off of the back of Ilya Davinyak in the sprint competition. Davinyak padded his lead by another 10 seconds in the yellow jersey competition against Thomas Vabrzo in the chaotic sprint to the finish line today. He heads into stage 11 tomorrow with a 39 second lead on GC. For 7 Cycling, I'm Brad Soner at the Tour of Qinghai Lake. Wait, NBA